The focus of PILI is really twofold. Our primary objective is, is student learning. Um, but we also have an emphasis on public service. PILI is a public interest law initiative. PILI was born approximately three years ago in 2012. It offers a range of different practical subjects. It lets you have hands-on experiences in public interest law. Well, I, I was overjoyed to find that Melbourne Law School had actually begun a clinical legal education program. There was nothing like that 50 years ago when I was in the law school. I really liked actually being able to see my law skills help someone in a very practical and real way. PILI has really expanded the number of clinics they have on offer. We have our external agency clinics um, at Job Watch, Victoria Legal Aid and Flemington Kensington Legal Service, which is the Police Accountability Clinic. The Police Accountability Program is collaborating with Melbourne University uh, in running the Police Complaints Clinic. It's a centre for uh, over the phone and interview advice. It's staffed by a number of law students who come from Melbourne University's law school. Typical clients of these organisations are people that don't have ready access to justice, ready access to legal advice. They get to um, interact with particularly vulnerable clients, which is, I think, really valuable. We act as duty lawyers and stand before a judicial registrar for clients. Clients who would not normally be able to afford a lawyer and other clients who come to court and have not even had an opportunity before court to speak to a lawyer. The work that the students do is genuinely useful. It has allowed us to increase the number of people, clients, that we can see. I mean, quite simply, on the day students are there, we book twice as many appointments with clients. We run Sustainability Business Clinic. What's unique about the Sustainability Business Clinic is that our clients are a little bit different from ordinary clinical clients. They're typically working in the city uh, or in the countryside of Victoria doing good for our environment. In my work in the environmental area more broadly, I, I saw a real gap in the market in that there were a lot of startups in the environmental and sustainability area, but they were quickly hitting legal barriers. Do it on the roof for like an interesting consultancy business, uh, essentially making green spaces. Gardens on roofs and walls can be used for infrastructure. So they can help you manage your energy efficiency, increase energy efficiency, manage water. Uh, there's a whole variety of benefits like noise reduction that you can use. We get to connect with practicing lawyers, help them with their work. Getting the legal advice was really helpful to us. Mutual benefits all round, <laughs> if you yeah. like. We also have our internships, which is where our students go outside to an external organisation. We run the Street Law Program, which goes out into schools delivering community legal education to high school students. Further into the future, we're looking at developing an international law clinical legal subject. We have a disability human rights clinic starting, run for the first time in semester two, 2015. This will be the first disability human rights clinic um, in the world that's focused on the human rights of people with disabilities and not just doing direct client services. We're really looking at what are the rights that people with disabilities are entitled to, um, which are the same as everyone else, but how can those rights really be realised for people with disabilities? Pilly has recently moved into a newly refurbished space. A wonderful new space that we have here on mezzanine level at the law school. And it's really fantastic uh, for clinical legal education to have its own home. We've already seen an expansion from when we started only a couple years ago. And I think the interest is only increasing. We're really eager to grow. It's a really exciting thing to see law students harness you know, that enthusiasm and that knowledge um, for social justice. Facilitating access to justice for people that really need legal assistance has been one of the highlights of my law degree.